and that Islam could establish a community. Islam could become a civilization. For three more years, the Quraysh army would try and destroy the Muslim community. They would win some battles, but always Muhammad and his followers struggled and survived as their numbers continued to grow. As the Meccan army struggled home after a final unsuccessful battle, their leader was at last forced to admit, every man of sense now knows Muhammad has not lied. Medina and the Muslim community were finally safe from attack. The prophet was now poised for the final step in the pursuit of his destiny. That step would be his return to the holy city of Mecca. Muhammad's life in Medina was austere but comfortable. He had few possessions but wanted for nothing. He lived in quarters attached to the mosque, usually spending each night in the room of another of his wives. Muhammad's wives were a diverse group. One was a Jew, another a Bedouin. One was even his cousin. Most were chosen for various political reasons, but a few, such as his third wife, Aisha, were clearly matters of the heart. Muhammad now told his followers that revelations from God said each man was permitted to take no more than four wives, and the husband was required to treat them all as equals. Marry women of your choice, two, three, or four. But if you fear that you will not be able to maintain justice between your wives, then marry only one. The modern world has frequently come to view Islam as a male-oriented at best and misogynistic at worst. But in truth, Muhammad's teachings brought women new rights that would not be achieved in the Christian world for centuries. <laughs> 